Hey, Mike here, michaelpitluck.com, and in this video, I want to show you how to verify your domain with the new Facebook changes. All right, and I'm going to show you two ways, <laughs> the ways that I know how to do, and one of them is going to be uh, the change the DNS record or upload a TXT file to the uh, to your domain, and then also to change uh, to add something in the meta tags into the header section of your website. Both are <clears throat> very easy, and uh, let's get to it. All right, so uh, the first question is. How do you know which domains you need to verify? And so um, you might have a lot of domains that you're messing around with. So on Facebook, just come over to your, um, you know, to be honest, I'm not even sure where it is, um, but we're going to find it because I'm figuring this out at the same time. So if you come over to your ads manager, for example, there's probably a million ways to find it. But if you come over to resource center here, right here under tasks, I'm not even sure what resource center is. This is something new. That I'll have to read about, but I'm just trying to get my domains verified. But right here with tasks, it tells you uh, review pixels that will no longer uh, review pixels that will no longer have available conversion events. And basically, that's because some of the domains that I have that are uh, associated with a pixel aren't verified. And so, if I don't have verified domains, it's not going to be accepting uh, data from that pixel, for example. So, if we go to review pixels, this will take us over to the page that we need to be on to start seeing which domains we need to verify. You can see I've already uh, verified one. And you can see I'm also using other websites that are owned by uh, other businesses, so I don't need to deal with those. I just need to deal with the ones that I need to ver verify. So, for example, this one right here, getbettermixes.com. So I'll click on verify domain. It takes us to a new page. And um, all you would have to do is you'd have to click add, and then I would simply type that domain name in. And so I typed in getbettermixes.com, and that put it right over here. and that opens up this little window right here, which gives you three different ways for you to verify your domain. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you what I think is the easiest one. And that is just simply to add in meta, tag uh, meta tags in the header section of your website. And so this is how I actually verified this domain right here. Uh, but I'm gonna show you how to do it for uh, this website. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over to the meta tag verification and we need to uh, copy this right here. So I'm gonna just click on that. And now that's copied. So all I need to do is add this uh, copied text or whatever to the header tag of my website. Now I'm gonna show you how to do this on Kajabi. So if I come over to um, Kajabi and uh, what we need to do is navigate to uh, settings. So just go to your site settings on Kajabi. And then we'll go to site details under site settings. And if we scroll down here, we'll see that there's a section called page scripts. And all you need to do is paste that text into this page script section. And you can see right here, I've added the um, script that I got from Facebook right there. And so what I can do is I can now copy this um, and hit save, of course. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go to my website just to verify, and I can just go to inspect uh, view page source. So this is just gonna take us to the HTML. And I'm gonna hit Command F to do a search. And I'm gonna paste in that long string of text, and you can see that that uh, text pops up right there. And so this is now showing up in the uh, HTML or the in the page source, and so that means that Facebook is gonna be able to recognize it and see it. And so I think that's the easiest way to get it verified. And if you have like a, a WordPress website and you have the header footer plugin, you just add this code to the header plugin and it spreads it across your website super easy. Now, um, the things that I think are a little bit more confusing would be like the DNS stuff, okay? And so um, that's actually what I have to do for my Get Better Mixes thing. So I'm gonna try it. So what we have to do is we have to log into your domain registrar. So I'm using Bluehost. I'm not, I'm not using Bluehost, I'm using uh, DreamHost here. And I'm reading how to add a text record. So if we come back over here to Facebook, it says um, you need to add a DNS text record to your domain host to prove that you own the domain. And so that's what we need to do. We need to add a text record. And basically what a text record is literally just text. Okay, that's all that is. Kind of like what we just did with the meta tag. We're literally just putting a string of text in there. So Facebook could say, is that string of text on the website? Yes, it is. Okay, they actually own the domain. And the exact same thing is going on here. 
is just instead of adding it to the code on your website, you're adding it to the back end of your website. And so it's, it's literally pretty much the same thing, but it seems a little bit more confusing, at least to me, because you know most of the time we're working on the front end of our website and we don't really pay much attention to the back end. But, and so, I don't know, that may or may not be um, the case with you. You could be totally uh, comfortable with that. What we're gonna do is add the text record in your DNS configuration. So I'm just gonna copy this. And so uh, what I've done is I've done a Google search on how to add a text record with uh, DreamHost because um, for every domain a registrar or hosting company is going to be different. I also use A2 for example and they'd have a slightly different way of going about it. And so this is uh, something that you probably have to do because there's going to be uh, subtle nuances to everything. Okay, So let's go ahead and try this out. So I'm going to navigate to the My Domains page. So we'll sign in. I'm just going to hop back over here. Click the DNS under the domain name. All right, so get better mixes. I'm going to click DNS, just following directions. And sometimes uh, you just need to see someone else do it to believe that you can do it too. And uh, I'm literally doing this for the first time. I hope it works out. So what we need to do next is we clicked on that. So now it's uh, showing us pretty much where we need to go to. So if we come back over here, that's going to be right here. Add a custom DNS record to getbettermixes.com. All right, and so let's hop back over to Facebook. So we wanna add this text record to your uh, DNS configuration. Add at in the host field. Not sure what that is, right? So you might not either, but we gotta figure this stuff out. So um, what we wanna do is add a text. We wanna add a value, and I'm assuming that the value is going to be the do, the little text that Facebook is sending over. And so let's just add that record and see what happens. All right, so we have now added a TXT record for getbettermixes.com with the value blah. All right, cool. And so the thing we have to do next is see if... This can take up to 72 hours. So uh, I'm going to hit verify right now just to see what happens. And there we go. <laughs> okay. So uh, that happened instantly. It says within 72 hours. But I'm not sure. I mean, yeah, any kind of DNS changes. And to be honest, I have no idea what DNS stands for. Domain name services, maybe? I, I don't know. But it doesn't matter because any kind of – all what I do know is any DNS changes – they can take a little bit of time, but literally this is just adding text. It's like I'm going in the back end of my website and I'm just typing in the text and then Facebook just goes and looks. Another way to think about it is I'm writing down that code that Facebook wants on a piece of paper and I'm filing it in the back of my website. And then Facebook is going to do a search to see, hey, is that file in the, in the file cabinet? And if it is, then you're verified. That's pretty much how this works. But those are two ways to do it. And I hope this was helpful. Just like you, I, re <laughs> I really don't know much about this. Uh, and so hopefully that gives you some confidence to try it on your own and be successful with it because I've now verified two domains with uh, different ways of doing it. But um, that's pretty much it. Good luck to you. If you have any questions, uh, leave them down below. But to be honest, don't know if I'm going to have the answers, but I will try. All right. So thanks for watching this video. I do hope that you get your domains verified so that we can um, all be safe or whatever on uh, Facebook. All right. Or I do hope you get your domains verified so that you can continue running ads. Right. Because that's really what we're, we're doing it for. All right. So I will see you in the next video. Peace.